back to Marcia move with Marcia and let me show you to do a down dog with a chair so maybe you're not in the mood to get all the way to the ground maybe you've got blood pressure issues dizziness whatever we're doing an inversion where your head is below your heart it just doesn't feel good or maybe you want less pressure on your wrist whatever the reason chairs your friend Walls your friend. You can make down dog totally accessible for whatever your body needs. All of the same concepts apply. The hands are sturdy, fingers are spread, squeezing, gripping. Now it depends on the kind of chair you have. You could grip on the sides, you could grip here. Same concepts for the feet, they are still hip width apart. Facing forward. A little bend in the knees, you don't want to hyperextend. Then you'll just lower yourself down to where it is comfortable. And I'm still getting all of the benefits of the down dog pose. A little hip opening, a little back stretch, relaxing my head and neck, getting those ankles nice and strong, the hands nice and strong. But while using the chair, a little less pressure on the wrist, a little less pressure when it comes to having your head below the heart. And you could also do the same idea with a wall. So real quick to show you how it looks from the wall, pretty much the same, right? Except I don't have to have a chair. So if you don't have a nice sturdy hard chair, you could just use the wall. And that's pretty much it for down dog with a chair. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Let's talk about it. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next video. You hit that subscribe button. You hit that bell icon. And you'll get email notifications every time I upload on a weekly basis. Toodles.